Huh? Rufus? Is that you? No, it's your reflection in a puddle in the gutter. Of course it's me. Wait a minute. You ended up in the sewers? <laughs> You're in it up to your neck. Yeah, well, at least I'm doing something useful. Scuba diving in the toilet? I found gold, and I know where the nucleic acid is. And what did you achieve? I kept my coat clean. And have you alarmed the rebels in your clean coat? Not yet, but I met Bozo. Unfortunately, he's no help at all. You call that news? <laughs> no, not really. Anyway, it's good to know we can meet up here and share things through this grate. Yes, that may come in useful. I could hand some objects down to you. Wouldn't it be just the coolest thing if there was a new interface element for that? Hey, that's awesome. Let's hope it works the other way around as well. Great. I'll go see what I can come up with then. Uh, maybe I can find you some toilet paper. Yeah, if there's a choice, can you give me the three-ply stuff? Um, hey... Snot faces. Give me a leg up, will ya? But Mr. Rufus. Uh, but Mr. Rufus, sir. Yeah, all right, my bad. Just forget it. <laughs> How cute. They've already found some friends. You can't get at it that way. You can't negotiate with people like that. They only know one language. Fistic Cuffian. But I've never been here before. Very funny. Move. Lock him up in his cell again. Cletus? No, wait. You're one of my clones, right? Cleverly disguised as Cletus. Oh, please! Don't tell me there's more than one of you now. <laughs> Very good. You got your role as a sleazy dimwit down pat. Ugh. Yeah. What do you say? So, if you are me, how were they able to capture you? Same as you, I suppose. <laughs> the way they captured me was much cooler. And I've already got a plan how we can get out of here. You can spare yourself the effort. I've tried everything. Yeah, maybe. But I have a bunch of new tricks up my sleeve that you don't even know. Oh, even though we're the same person? Yeah. Watch and learn. A rug in a prison cell? How cheeky can you get? Hey, hello? Yoo-hoo! What do you want? Stop making such a racket in there! I'm not feeling so well. <laughs> I think I'm getting sick. No, I don't care. As long as you don't barf on the rug. Yeah, I want to talk to my lawyer. Who's your lawyer? Well, uh, actually, I, I was going to defend myself. Whatever you like. Then go ahead and talk to yourself, but no longer than ten minutes, understood? I demand a clean cell. This is a clean cell, and I'm very proud to say so. We have all the latest cleaning technologies. The blankets are lit free, and the toilet fresheners are dirt repellent. And I shampooed the rug earlier today. Wow, life in the service of the Organon gets pretty boring, huh? Oh, you have no idea. I need the bathroom. Again? Fine. But this time, don't use so much toilet paper. We've already cleared the store. Do you mean that if someone were to prevent the destruction of the planet, the Organon would be out of toilet paper? That would be correct, yes. <laughs> Fantastic. How's that for an incentive to save Deponia? 
I'm hungry. That's probably because you never touched your breakfast. Hang on, I'll open the food slot. Let me out of here. Forget it. Ah, uh, nothing. Then don't bother me. Okay, let's have a look. Coffee, a bagel, and pepper. What? No jam. That's a violation of the Geneva Convention. And what have we here? A toilet freshener. Wasn't very smart of the Organon to provide me with this essential gem of chemical warfare. They say you should brush your teeth after you eat, but they don't say how long after. So here's my tip. The longer you wait, the more meals you can cover in one go. The toilet freshener leaves stains. I'd better keep it away from the other stuff. Tidy bot, you old dirtbag you. Nice to see you again. Hey, is that a way to greet an old buddy? Hey, tidy bot, all ship shape? Neato. Hey, tidy bot, all ship shape? Neato. Hey, tidy bot, all ship shape? Neato. The toilet freshener leaves stains. I'd better keep it away from the other stuff. Dust and pepper. Wasn't there something... <laughs> Dust! As if I didn't have enough of that in my coat. And what about your oh-so-brilliant rescue operation? Just relax. I'll get us out of here in no time. It's a lousy substitute for cream cheese, but it'll have to do. <laughs> Inspired recipe. What is that supposed to be? <laughs> One guess. It's our ticket to freedom. You will eat this slightly adulterated bagel and then pretend to be sick, which should come naturally. And when they take you to sick bay, I will come forth from my hiding place and save us over my dead body. You will eat the bagel and I will save us. Yeah, actually, why not? I'm kind of hungry anyway. No, wait, was that a trick? Just so you could have my food, you rotter. I'm on for you. Give me that bagel. Mmm. <laughs> I'm feeling a little... I think I'm going to... <laughs> what have you done? You idiot. You poisoned me. <laughs> Bravo. Very convincing. Didn't think you had it in you. <laughs> but uh, you better save your method acting for the guard, especially your complexion. It's, it's really good. Yoo-hoo, I feel sick. Is that supposed to be me? Who else? Why are you disguising your voice? Oh, trust me. I'm an excellent voice impersonator. What? But oh, shush. Why is it now? If you keep bothering me, I will... What the? You tow rag! What have you done to my nice rug? Off with you to sick bay, right now! Damn! Now I 
up there at the cell. <laughs> that was easier than I thought. Too bad there wasn't a big chase sequence on jet skis, though. bad from up here. I just realized that I never got the chance to say goodbye. I've always loved pneumatic tube systems, even though they're not suitable for sending large amounts of bread dough. Boom! Yeah! Sleeping like a baby, which is actually a good thing. I guess the door only opens for the organon. Still not fast enough, Oppenbot. Ulysses must not get suspicious. I want to be there when he learns that the army he was going to blow up with this filthy planet is on board. And will take over Elysium under my command. But Ulysses isn't stupid, Vader. He's stupid enough to think that 11,000 Organons will just volunteer to die submissively. Yes, that is stupid. So... When am I getting my copy of the Ascension Codes? Don't be silly, Oppenbot. You will stay here, of course. Ah, yes. 11,000 Organons. So that's what Argus was talking about. Huh. I never believed for a moment that he wanted to save the pony. And now, he's got the Ascension Codes. I've got to hurry. He's already bringing his troops aboard. Another problem that I need to take care of later. Am I intruding? Rufus, I'm overjoyed to see you. You have come just in time. And who have we here? Another fellow fighter in our battle against oppression? This is Rufus. I told you about him. Wow, really? The Rufus? Now, if that isn't a good omen for our enterprise, I'm Cowboy Dodo. You may know me from the local radio. And here we have Cindy, Hottie, and Cutis. <laughs> he remembers our name. I don't want to miss a word. Okay, listen up, everyone. I'm the head honcho around here, right? So, what do you want me to do? What's the big plan? We are directly above Bailey Argus's office. We believe that the Ascension Coach are here. Therefore, we want to lower Cowboy Dodo on a rope so he could get his hands on them. I understand. But I'm here now, so move aside and make room for me. <laughs> I like this guy. Why don't we just take a vote? I'm for Rufus. <laughs> I'm for me too. I, I just don't know. No, let Cowboy Dodo do it. He's the best man for the job. He's the best man, period. And Yanosh votes for me, of course. Well, it's a draw then. But before we get into a fight over this, remember that manning the crank is also an important job. The crank? I'm not your crank aide. Forget it. I demand a new count. Someone is still missing in it. I'll be right back. down tight. It's impossible to open that pipeline without the right tool.
something's moving back there. It's hard for normal eyes to tell what it is, but I can see it's a, it's um, it's a, it's a blurry blob. Uh, no doubt about it. Hey, there's something moving there. Isn't that? <gasps> of course, that's Baby Bozo in great danger. I have to tell Barry about it. news i have a subject really what is it come on i'll show you oh dear that's terribly high ah uh, stop whining and keep your camera ready because what i'm about to do i'm only gonna do once unless the picture isn't any good we'll do it again that wasn't all that heroic. Just wait and see. I wanted to check the lay of the land first. Hey, snot noses! Come here! And now be good and keep still, okay? What exactly are you planning to do? Keep still! That applies to your pie hole as well! Ta-da! <laughs> Closed very tightly. That was at least a ten point zero. Go on, you know the game. Shoo. How cute. They've already found some friends. And therefore, dear children, you will certainly not regret getting into my dark van with me. What's going on here? This shady character is trying to lure us into his van under very suspicious circumstances. Uh-huh. So, what are you waiting for? You cannot be serious. Children must never enter strange people's vans. That's a very important rule. Nah, nah. Rules are for people who are too clumsy to cheat. I'm sure this friendly gentleman only has your best interests in mind. Right? Um, yes. Of course. He claims that he's got a petting zoo with cute animals in there. A petting zoo? <gasps> really? What? Um, well... <laughs> actually... Ooh, me first. Out of my way. Ooh, ooh. Pretty dark in here for a petting zoo. And where are the cute animals? Um, well, here, right in front of you. Oh, boy, oh, boy. <laughs> I'm so excited. Whoa! What? What are you doing? No, no, don't worry. I'm really good with animals. Stop it! Immediately! Get out of here! No! There's no reason to get so upset. I was just finished anyway. And? What and? It was totally cool. The animals were mega cute. And I got to pet them. I think you're fibbing. Well, fortunately, I have proof. Here. 
What's that? That's a print of the cute animal. Anybody can see that. I can't make head or tail out of it. What sort of animal is that supposed to be? A colorful butterfly. Do you really call that a butterfly? Of course. Look closer. Here are the wings and here's the, um, uh, you know, whatever they are. It is a butterfly. You're nuts, Ralphie. Why? Just because I decided to become a vegetarian? That's exactly why. After all, you're a slime monster. And slime monsters eat children. I can change, you know? <laughs> You'll never stick with it. Like that business with your correspondence course. Yeah, you'll see. Well then, enjoy your dinner. As for me. I'm gonna toss a couple of kitty arms and the barbecue. Do that. I'm gonna take a nap. Yeah, try not to leave your mouth open so wide this time. Otherwise, a couple of kids will wind up floating down your throat. Ha ha ha! Hey, yeah, screw you too. <laughs> stuck. No wonder. The way these things are built, they only fly from their sockets during an electrical spike. What do you say now? This is definitely an ideal spot for a good night's sleep. Are you sure? Of course. It's out of the wind, it has a roof, and there are places to sit. What else could one ask for? Well, it has a certain menace, shall we say? You said it, Gritchen. Are there any guarantees that there are no dangerous monsters lurking in the dark? Monsters? <laughs> You're such a bunch of idiots. There's no such thing as monsters. Except, of course, for that giant insect that almost killed me a little while ago. Oh, you should have seen its teeth and those long legs. Disgusting. Ugh. It still creeps me out when I think about it. But that was over there, somewhere on the other side of those dark, far-apart pipes. <laughs> Where was I? You were trying to explain to us why this is a good place to spend the night. Oh, yeah, spend the night. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's, it's perfect, isn't it? But it's dark and cold. Whoa, whoa there. Complain, complain, complain. Ah, oh, rats. No electricity. Here is lousier than Bozo's beard. I can't even figure out which goal belongs to the white team. <laughs> and even without breaking it off. <laughs> this is definitely a first. And what I ask you could be tastier than meat in a light pastry crust. Hmm, smells delicious. Ah, a cooking show. Just the thing to make you fall asleep. Where are we supposed to sleep here, Mr. Rufus? It's way too cold and dark. Why doesn't electricity come in a variety of bright colors? Then I could always see when it's running. And I wouldn't have to feel for it every time. Fuse should go in there. Or alternatively, one of those handy power inverters that so far have been disappointingly rare in this game.
What do you see in this picture? A patient turning the tables? <laughs> Wrong! Now you're the crazy one! I don't think you quite understand the point of this test. Crazy, 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 crazy! <laughs> crazy! <laughs>